Aloha, I'm Carol Munley and this is our new series, Education Matters, which is a program that will explore education related information that affects not just formal programs like K through 12 and uh, higher, higher education professional schools, but anything that informs the broader community. Um, today, I'm really happy to have as my guest, Chelsea DeMott, who is a student, graduate student, has been a graduate student at UH Manoa, and is currently the president of Phi Alpha Theta, which is a National History Honor Society. So, welcome. Thank you so much for having me today, Carol. Thank you. So, tell me a little bit about Phi Alpha Theta and the Hawaii chapter, which you mm -hmm. uh, are president of. So, Phi Alpha Theta was, began in 1921, the national organization. In 1984, our local Hawaii chapter was founded by Dr. Robert McGlone. He is a long-term time uh, faculty member at UH Manoa. In taught, the history department, Yes, right. taught for 45 years. He's definitely, um, he's a, he was the head, he was the heart of our organization. And he built upon something that's great. Our focus is on promoting history in higher education and to an extent to the community. And so this is the Hawaii chapter? Yes, and we're known as uh, Alpha Beta Epsilon. I see. And you are the president of uh, Alpha Beta Epsilon for yes. the year. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm very excited. It's been a great opportunity. Uh -huh. So tell me some of the things that Phi Alpha, uh, that PAT has been doing. I guess it's easier to say <laughs> PAT. Yes, that's also okay. Um, recently, this past year, we have been in the World History Association. We have helped volunteer at their conference. They were held at HPU in January, and we actually had some of our members participate, which is a great honor for us. And we were able to fundraise and served as um, volunteers I to see. help them run it. So the World History Association, now tell us what that is. That is a national organization. It is actually, I believe, an international organization. International. And we are helping with their regional conference, so it's everything on the Pacific, um, West Coast, and then Hawaii. And so this year they're holding it at HPU, Hawaii Pacific University, at the Aloha Tower. Right. So, and again, this dovetails into the goals of PAT. Yes, this is because we want to be part of the organ, like even other organizations that involve history. We want to have our students reach out to other groups, participate in other conferences, and generally share our ideas. It's a lot of pride for us to be out there and doing things out in the community. Right. So, um, in addition to that as a goal, what are your, uh, you, met, you mentioned some of the conferences that you've been mm -hmm. doing and uh, the WHA one, were you all participating as conference presenters too? Yes, we did have some students present. They submitted their papers and they were able to present. We are very honored that one of our students, Lee English, actually did win an award over there. Oh, which, um, what was Lee's topic and what was the award? For? I believe he was, um, he did a paper upon China. I have to look to expand upon it more. Mm -hmm. And I believe he won an, an honorary award for um, his writing abilities. I see. And how big is your chapter in terms of stu number of uh, members? And do you also have faculty members? And are mm -hmm. students just from UH or are they from all over the islands? In terms of our faculty members, a lot of our faculty are Phi Alpha Theta members, and we do have two faculty advisors. When Dr. D uh, McLone retired, we ended up with Dr. Jolly and Dr. Peter, um, Dr. Karen Jolly and Dr. Peter Hoffenberg volunteered to serve as our new faculty members, and they've been just wonderful. They've been a huge support. We couldn't have done this without them. And they're both faculty members at UH Manoa, uh, UH Manoa. in the history department. Yes, yes. Right. And about how many student members do you have right now? About current student members that are active, I believe about at least 30, 35. And are they all from Manoa? Yes, they're all from Manoa. And also this includes all past members as well because Falpa Theta is a lifetime membership. We do invite other uh, alumni. Um, to go and submit papers, to participate in our organization. And we, we actually do have a lot of alumni come in as well. We are um, based at the UH Manoa campus, and this is because each school has its own chapter. For example, Chaminade, University of Hawaii at Hilo, Hawaii Pacific University, and BYUH Hawaii, they all have their own Falpa Theta chapters. And But you are the president of just the Hawaii? UH Manoa. UH Manoa. Yes. And about how many in the state of Hawaii do you think there are? Uh, members? Yes. Uh -huh. That's a good question. We only ever see them during our, bi our regional conferences. Mm -hmm. We're definitely the, probably the biggest chapter. Overall, it's got to mm -hmm. be at least 75 to 100. Ballpark, that's what I'm guessing from what I've seen. Right. 
So, so tell me, I, we just showed a great um, mm -hmm. picture of the flag, I believe, what you would call yes. it. So that's, a, so that's your motto. Um, well, let's see what it says. Phi Alpha Theta. Yes. And that is a uh, Greek, the Greek words, uh, mm -hmm. letters. And uh, the University of Hawaii at Manoa. That's a, the National History Honor Society. Yes, and you can see our chapter name right there as well, Alpha Beta Epsilon. Right. So can anyone join? In order to join, you do have to have at least four classes within history and maintain a GPA of 3.1. We actually are now restricted to history majors. We encourage people from other disciplines to join as well, anyone with a love of history, as long as they've taken enough required classes and have maintained an overall GPA of 3.0, we more than welcome them. We've had people from political science, philosophy, um, American studies. We're really an inclusive group. And we, so we love sharing other ideas, other opinions, because each group, like each um, department has a kind of their own way of looking at things. Right. And then I know you recently had a conference about a few weekends ago, right? I think we have a copy. Ah, that is the cover of the program, which I believe you also designed. Yes, is that right, I did. Kelsey? You have many talents. <laughs> Thank you. So can we read what that says? Yes, it's, it was the 33rd Annual Hawaii Regional Meeting of Phi Alpha Theta. It is where we are, the narratives that define us. Right, and uh, where was that held? It was actually held at Chaminade University. We are very honored because this was the first time that Chaminade has ever hosted a regional conference. We do this once a year, typically in March, around spring break, and typically they were held at UH Manoa for many, many years mm -hmm. until we reached out to our fellow chapters, and we had people um, volunteer to use their campuses, and we love it because we love traveling around, we love seeing all these uh, p new ideas, these um, new campuses that we otherwise normally would not. So we've been to HPU at Aloha Tower, and we've also been to BYUH at, up in uh, Laie. And next year, we, I believe we might be doing it back at UH Manoa, and then we're going to hopefully go to UH Hilo at some point. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, the conference is really important because in terms of educating yes. the community, of course, the uh, historians, mm -hmm. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the um, uh, papers that were presented and the topics that were covered? Yes, for our chapter, um, this last conference, we had a lot of Hawaii-based papers, which is very important because that history sometimes is not talked about, especially um, in certain, how should I put it? Because all the papers that we have, actually we're going to submit on to um, the biennial conference. And what is the biennial conference? The biennial conference is held every two years. It's going to be the national conference. Of Phi Alpha. Of Phi Alpha Theta. Yeah. And having Hawaii papers makes a huge difference because the history is not very talked about on the mainland. Right. And so we're how, all, how important is that? It is. Yeah. We're usually the only representations of any Hawaii history, Pacific histories. And it's amazing going and seeing everyone's faces, learning about all these new things. And they ask a lot of questions. And it's a great honor for us. So I know that, of course, we as the 50th state are as far west as you can go. Mm -hmm. So I assume we're the only, you're the only Phi Alpha Theta uh, chapter in the entire Pacific. Is that right? Other, um, I mean, beyond, not beyond oh, California yes. may have. Um, only the us, Charmina, the other chapters, right, too. Right, of course, within Hawaii. Yes. I don't believe, I thought a long time ago there was talks about maybe doing a chapter on Guam. Ah. That would be really interesting. I. We were thinking about reaching out more to the Pacific because they are our neighbors and we would like to encourage them to also participate in history and then encourage them to submit papers and even do a teleconference maybe. So the papers that were submitted at the conference mm -hmm. um, recently were from all of the different schools who uh, participated? Within the, Hawaii. Within Hawaii. Within course. Hawaii. So it's our own regional and a lot of Papa Theta chapters do this even on the mainland. They'll have a regional based conference and then every two years we go to the national. Right. And uh, so you mentioned some of the topics all relating to Pacific uh, and the Hawaii mm -hmm. region, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have a, a sense of are there emerging issues that are becoming more um, popular or, or discussed that would uh, be perfect to uh, bring to the mainland for further, you know, discussion? Oh, definitely. I know Ulevehi Hopkins, she's been doing research on voyaging. And that's been a, a very interesting topic. And she also been talking about the new Disney movie with um, Moana. That was her last presentation. And some of the parallels regarding with Pacific history and the movie. 
fascinating. It was. I loved it. It was incredibly interesting. Right. And do you give awards at these uh, at the conference? Yes, at the Falpa Data Conference here, we do give awards. We have about, I think we're up to o over ten awards, and it's nice because it honors all the students for their hard work, and it helps also almost bring up the like it's good confidence because then they they get their um, they practice. Sometimes this is their very first conference. And that makes a huge difference to the students. And we help coach them. We teach them how to do it. And they get a better idea of um, public speaking and presenting their research, especially if they want to go on to more academic careers or higher education to graduate school, to doc like become a doctorate. And so this is often the very first time of doing it. Right. And we're very proud to help introduce students to that. Yeah, so these papers, uh, are they also distributed to um, locally in terms of how would how would a person from Hawaii who might be interested in reading more about this but mm -hmm. is not a member of Phi Alpha Theta? Actually our conference is open to the public so we do send out some invitations especially we have some long-term community members that do come um, so especially also the families as well so through families we've had a lot of guests come and also too for some of our talks we promote some of the history department talks at UH Manoa and we present those emails out we send them out to alumni anyone who's on our email list so if anyone's more interested in joining our email list, we would love to send so who, out more information. So how do they contact you to get on? Because I think people would be very interested mm -hmm. in reading, finding out what the topics are that you've covered, voyaging, um, whatever other issues relating mm -hmm. to Hawaii and the Pacific. But how to get a hold of them? How are they going to get a hold of them? Our best way to get a hold of us is through our email, which is patmanoa, P-A-T-M-A-N-O-A, at hawaii.edu. That's very simple. Yes. At <laughs> Manoa at hawaii.edu. Yes. And that way they can contact you as president and mm -hmm. you would be able to direct them to getting more information about publications, mm -hmm. um, fundraising, yes. and other information. Because we love our community. We want to be more part of it. We think that's probably one of our strongest, our people and our community is our strongest um, asset right. within our organization. Do you, um, are you involved at all in um, high schools? We actually do participate in Hawaii History Day, which is a big um, statewide event. The kids, um, high school students compete. Um, they do papers, they've done um, presentations, they've done, I've seen posters. They get really creative and I've actually judged before, I've had other members judge as well. Dr. Karen Jolly, she's a big supporter of this, she's involved a lot. And we go, and it's amazing what these high school students can do. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to take a break and come right back because I think that you mentioned we haven't actually said the date. So oh, when yes. We, it's Cupco coming up. Right. So yes. as soon as we come back from our break, we're going to announce the date for History Day in Hawaii. So we'll be right back. This is my guest, Chelsea DeMott. Thank you. Are you looking to get shrunk? Join us on Shrink Wrap Hawaii. My name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I see couples, individuals, families, because you know why? Because we all have problems. And if you're curious about shrinks and what they talk about, come look at my show, Shrink Wrap Hawaii, and maybe you'll find your shrink. You want to talk about some socially sensitive issues relevant to women? Listen to these guys. Well, I think it's important in Judaism that we don't take the Bible literally. We take it seriously. Okay. I agree, and the, really the key to understanding Christianity is compassion. If you're compassionate towards other people, you are living a Christian life, and that relates also to dealing with women and men and women issues as well. Mm. Are women and men equal? They're equal. Who's Why better? Be Who's better? <laughs> Depends Tune on in. what. Tune in. Welcome back. This is my guest, Chelsea DeMott, who is the president of the Hawaii chapter called Alpha Beta Epsilon of the National History Honor Ser Honorary History Society, History Honorary Society, <laughs> called Phi Alpha Theta, which, um, so we're very proud to have you here, you, and Karen. the importance of history and um, maintaining the interest and uh, pursuing research and writing and engaging the public and others in history is really more important than ever, I think. Oh, especially right now, definitely. Especially right now, lest we forget our history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we left before the break the very important information as to the date for the History Day that's coming up. Yes, Hawaii History Day, the State Fair, is going to be held on April 15th at Winwood Community College. And we definitely encourage the community to 
come and join us. We'll have a booth there. And it's pretty much the finals for all the Hawaii History Day competitions. And what are those competitions? Are they high school or high college? Schools. I see. Yes, those are the ones that we do judge every year. I've participated before, and again, these and projects are incredible and have really high hopes for future historians. Okay, so this means, is it just public schools or public and private schools? Public and private. And so History Day, all the history, different history uh, teachers and courses mm -hmm. participate by, by, by uh, projects? Or yes. Or is it papers? Actually, there's different categories. So there mm -hmm. are projects, there are papers, even performing arts. No kidding. Yes. And I, history. Yes. Unfortunately, like, I wasn't able to see it last time because I was judging the posters. But there is performing arts, and there's even, um, there's even I think, visual, like documentary. Right. And so this, wow. So this is a full day of activities yes. at Windward. Yes. And then uh, your role, PAT's role, uh, mm -hmm. is to facilitate in terms of judging, and what else do you do? We're also going to give information about the history department at UH and the Honor Society in general. So we do want to encourage students, one of our big things is that we want to show them that history is a very viable field of study. We do this at the History, the, um, history Day, and we also did this at Manoa Experience when the, the schools from around their area come to UH and they tour the campus as another one of our big events. And so at both events we try to promote history as a field of study. We talk about the positive things such as um, you can become a lawyer. There's all these different fields. Because our main problem is we notice that a lot of parents don't encourage history as a field of study. Because they don't see it as almost a viable um, career option. But we're trying to show them, like, no, the skills that you learn in this can take you anywhere. Right. So your skill and your background in history, right? Your undergraduate major was in history. Yes. And I know that you've actually had a couple of changes in yes. your career, right? Mm -hmm. And your master's is in? Library science. Right, but did you decide to continue in library science? <laughs> no, I you... did not. I realized I wanted to be in a field that was more personable and more um, hands-on in people, like storytelling. And so I went back to UH, I looked into doing the filmmaking program, and then I set, did uh, hospitality, and I really enjoyed that. And so now you're going to use your history background yes. in hospitality. So tell me how that's going to enhance your future career in hospitality. Definitely some of the enhancements is that I want to share with um, our, our guests and to anyone else I'd like to join our history in a very accurate but in a very entertaining way. When you say our history? As Hawaii, mm -hmm. our local history, because I did notice sometimes in hospitality there is a problem with um, maybe the accurate information not being portrayed in favor of more um, entertainment wise. Ah. So that's actually going to be my study is that I'm going to be doing a research paper on um, tourism and how that can alter the narrative of a place and focus here in Waikiki. Very interesting, very important. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we, of course, many of our larger resorts and hotels often have cultural um, mm -hmm. parts of their tourist package, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's the hula or lay making, mm -hmm. but the historical part would be very valuable and therefore that's something that you with a history major can yes. go into. And, and actually the new trend is nowadays, especially some of our repeat guests, they really want to engage in real local history and they want to learn more about this place because they've grown to love it, they come visit a lot and they want to do more. So does PAT or you, and your chapter do anything in terms of the visitor industry, uh, educating, outreach? Unfortunately, not to that extent. However, upcoming in August, the International Society of Anglo-Saxonists, they're going to come visit. Dr. Karen Jolly is one of our um, faculty members. She's in charge of this. She's helping host the conference here at UH. ISAS, right? Yes. And we will be actually doing an excursion in downtown Honolulu. And our members, uh, myself and a few other members, are going to volunteer as tour guides. That's wonderful. And where are you going to go? We're going to go to Iolani Palace, Ali Iolani Hale. We're going to be going to Kauai Hau Church, St. Andrew's Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Do you go to Chinatown? And I guess it's not as historical <laughs> as some of the other. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to focus on that for the probably the day. And we hope it's going to be very interesting and informative, and we hope they learn something from it. All right. So that means, is that just your chapter, the UH Manoa chapter, will be involved? Yes, it'll be our chapter. I see. Great. So um, we've talked about uh, other outreach uh, issues, and we've talked about awards. I know mm -hmm. we have some great pictures of some awards oh, yes. that we can show. So we have uh, two women here 
holding an award. <laughs> These are our beloved uh, faculty member and our former president, Shirley Buchanan. On the left, you'll see Dr. Karen Jolly. On the right, Shirley Buchanan. And when we went to the biennial conference in Orlando in 2016, Shirley was honored with an award for her, partici her um, um, participation in the national chapters. I see. And it was a huge honor because we actually sent 16 students from Hawaii to Orlando. We fundraised everything. The airfare and the hotels were all taken care of. And we were the biggest chapter to participate in the entire um, country. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It is. Wonderful. And then we have another award. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And um, FAFSA Theater does hold a national um, competition between our, the, all the chapters. How many chapters are there, did you say? Oh, this is within the whole national. Right. Um, shoot. There must be, there's hundreds. Hundreds of chapters. Hundreds of chapters. And we are fortunate enough, um, Ulevehi Hopkins, one of our great members, she's very tech savvy. She did created a whole scrapbook of everything that we do throughout the year. And she submitted that. In 2014 and in 2016, we won Best National Chapters. That's amazing. It is. It was a huge honor. We we're so proud of ourselves like and yeah. everything we've done. That's great. And I think we have one more award that we wanted to show. And this is um, doc Dr. Robert McClone. And he is our founder, as I mentioned before, of our chapter. He was our faculty member for 45 years. And he was truly like, he was our rock. He made everything of this possible. And we owe everything to him and what he's done in his efforts. We miss him dearly. He retired in 2013, and then he passed away a couple years later. And we miss him all the time. But we hold on to the hope that we made him proud, I'm and we sure want to continue have. this in the future. Yes, he's very beloved. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit more about your fundraising efforts and how do you sustain yourself? How did um, how do you get contributions? Mm -hmm. and how do you we do. Um, our members are we are especially good at writing because we're history majors. One of our great skills yes. is uh, we do some grant writing, which helps us because we also have to sponsor the regional conferences. We help put in money for that. And also because it's such an expense to go to the mainland and send our students there with airfare and hotel, we, do, we fundraise all the time. We do book sales, which are, are great faculty at UH Manoa, including Dr. McGlone, who left us his collection of books. Um, we sell them every month, one dollar each. So please check us out on campus. We're going to have another one in April. So any kind of books? Mm, typically history books. These come from our professors, but we've seen some really random things. We've had romance novels. <laughs> we've got books on gardening. So we have a huge variety. And also, we have bake sales. I remember um, We have a picture here of yes. a, a bake sale. Catherine Ulep, um, one of our great members, she and her family actually made all of those bait, like they stayed up a couple of days making all those items for us to sell at a big sale That's at wonderful. Sakomaki Hall. She's a huge support. And then uh, also Shirley, as I mentioned before, our former president, she makes aprons. She makes aprons. She makes aprons. So what we try to do is all of our members have great skills in addition to being historians. And we try to find ways to kind of do little things to make our money and help support our chapter. We're really, we're here for each other. And I think that's what makes our chapter really great. Yeah. So you mentioned um, your book sales, your mm -hmm. bake sales. Um, do you also take inter in contributions? Yes, of course. We have had great support from our community members. And please um, email me at patmanoa, I think P-A-T-M-A-N-O-A, -A -A, at hawaii.edu for more information. Our checks are typically made out to uh, Alpha, Beta, Epsilon, our region chapter. Right. So please, let me any information that you need. Mm -hmm. And also, too, if you need any volunteer work within the community, we would love to have more opportunities to do that as well. Yeah, let's repeat that uh, mm -hmm. email uh, yes. address. Um, Pat Manoa, P-A-T-M-A-N-O-A, -A -A at hawaii.edu right. for all inquiries. Right, there we have it on the screen. Pat yes, Manoa at hawaii.edu. Thank you. So in terms of um, finances, how, how much money a year are you trying to raise? To cover your travel expenses, mm -hmm. your um, the various expenses that you have. What's your budget? Our budget. Um, I'll have to talk. Shirley's actually our treasurer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just try to help manage with the other stuff. Right. Anything financial wise, um, she and Dr. Hoffenberg typically take care of. We just um, we do have goals and coming up soon because we do have to start getting tickets for New Orleans because we want to send 12 students out there. And what's happening in New Orleans? In 2018, we have our next um, biennial. Um, 
a biennial national conference. So PAT sponsors a biennial conference every yes. two years. Yes. And the next one is in New, New Orleans. Orleans. And so we need to send <laughs> at least a well, dozen or 12 yes. a dozen students out. And that's going to be coming up January 3rd through the 7th. So right before we start UH Manoa, the school semester, we're going to go over there, represent Hawaii, do it proud. And I'm sure by the time we will we'll fundraise, we can do it. We have a lot of faith in each other, and I know we can do this together. And your goal in part is to bring to the national information mm -hmm. papers uh, regarding Hawaii the, and the Pacific. The history here. We have, we have the Hawaii Pacific and also Asia as well. We bring in a lot of Asia papers. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting because every time I go to the national chapter, um, I, I end up going in all these, we meet all these new people, and actually at this last one, we recruited a graduate student mm -hmm. um, who was interested in joining our chapter, we gave him information. He ended up um, applying to UH Manoa and joining our, Wonderful. joining our organization. Yeah, yeah. So there's also it's community outreach on a national level. Right, all right. So can you um, long term think in terms of the future of mm -hmm. PAT and, and the study of history and how it relates to the importance of continuing um, the interest in, in, in sharing what PAT does in mm -hmm. Hawaii. I think we're at a very unique stage in the study of history is that we are still doing papers and everything, but I think we're also getting an interest in a broader interest. For example, I like documentaries. There's so many ways to portray history. There's so many ways to kind of expand upon it. And I think we just have to, we're going to be more creative in the future. I have. I think that'll be an. I think the future will be incredible for the study of history, and I think we just need to let students know, future students, that history is a great field to be in. You get awesome skills, and history is a study of stories, almost the it, human story. It's interesting. It's fun, and as you say, of course, you learn how to write, to yes. research, but in your own individual experience, mm -hmm. applying that in the field of tourism is is a wonderful it is. expansion of. You know, the narrow thinking of history is that you can only maybe teach or write, but actually applying it to a much broader community. You can take it anywhere. And I have to say that the skills that I learned through Phi Alpha Theta, including um, my very first conferences were through Phi Alpha Theta, and I learned how to speak. Wonderful. And that's one of the skills that I can never, um, that's invaluable to me. Because right. I used to be very shy. I could never, I could never do this. <laughs> well, we're almost done, and I want you to take one look in the camera too, Chelsea, mm -hmm. and remind people about your upcoming History Day. Yes. And anything you want to say. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to let everyone know, please join us on April 15th at Windward Community College. Uh, we're going to have the uh, History State Fair, and we would love for the community to come to support our local high school students. And for any, we're going to have more fundraisers. And for any community inquiries, we would love to do volunteer work. We love to do um, organizational work. And so please, we want to hear from you. And again, email me at pavmanoa.hawaii.edu. And we look forward to working with everyone. We're proud of where we're from. And we want to represent that to the rest of the world. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Chelsea PAT. Yes. And the work that you do with the history, uh, Study of history is uh, so important. Thank you for coming. No, thank you so much for having me, Carol. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being a support. Okay. Aloha all. Thank you.